So the liver meeting is really the most important event that I attend each year. Um, the reasons are many. Um, I see all of my colleagues from the United States and around the world that do research in a similar area, that take care of children with liver disease like I do. Um, I go there to get updated on the science, not only the science in the area that I'm most familiar with, but the science in general. I enjoy going to sessions in areas that I may not have a chance to read about all year long, but I hear the world's experts in a given area update you on the science, on clinical science, on basic science, clinical trials, and quite frankly, you can get a lens towards the future of where the entire field is going by attending the liver meeting. The quality of research at the liver meeting is really among the, the top research that's being conducted in the world. Um, it's an international crowd. The topics are chosen each year based on current and future directions of science. Um, the best international speakers are invited for state-of-the-art talks, for other um, symposia and seminars. Um, and uh, investigators from around the world submit and will present their best and newest research at the liver meeting. So the quality is unmatched anywhere in the world um, and one gets insights into what will be published in journals over the next two years by attending the, the liver meeting. So I'm a pediatric hepatologist and have attended the ASLD meeting now for over 30 years. Um, it's an opportunity for pediatric liver doctors to stay up to date on all of the advances in the field of hepatology, many of which will directly affect children either currently or in the future. This year, the Pediatric Liver Disease Special Interest Group, or SIG, um, has uh, approved programming at the liver meeting, and the topic is non-invasive measurements of liver fibrosis in children. In pediatrics now, we're very interested in non-invasive measures of liver fibrosis as means of monitoring our patients, monitoring response to new therapies that are in the pipeline, and in general, just understanding the stage of fibrosis in a given patient. Um, so the, the symposium uh, this year will address uh, new imaging technology such as elastography and ultrasound. It will address new blood um, non-invasive markers of fibrosis and will examine new data generated now in pediatric populations as opposed to adult populations. So these are very important technologies for the future and uh, we're looking forward to the symposium to uh, update the membership on where things stand in 2016.